Hey, come on in, chat. Let me know if y'all can hear me okay. I turned the mic down because I think I'll be coming across too loud sometime. So let me know if y'all hear me okay. <laughs> Please and thank you. Um, and come on in and make sure you uh, click the like button for me, please. And also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And also, please share. Please share the live to your social media platforms, um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you know, the big threes. <laughs> and also, ooh, let me fix my collar. I'm going to fix my collar. Okay, 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 okay. Got to get straight. <laughs> but yes, come on in. Please hit the like, subscribe, and share. Please and thank you. Um, we're going to be discussing Married to Medicine, the last episode that just came on the other night. Um, I actually thought it came on, I think it used to come on Sundays, but for some reason, once, uh, um, what's that? Atlanta Housewives. Once that started coming on, I guess, uh, they switched to Saturdays because I didn't even watch it till last night. So anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to do the live and I was trying to wait till after uh, Atlanta, House, Atlanta Housewives had went off. So I believe that just went off at eight o'clock. I didn't want to interfere with that. So um, again, everybody come on in, have a seat, get your little drink. I got my big blue cup as usual. Mm-hmm. You never know what's in the blue cup. <laughs> but anyway, um, this live again is about Married to Medicine and the name of the title or the name of this episode, title, whatever, was called Bottled Up Emotions. This is season six, episode 15. So let's get right to it. Um, uh, first of all, let's see. Um where should I start? I think I'll start off with Simone. I know there was a few scenes ahead of uh, this where, like, um, Dr. Jackie, um, she was seeing a patient and some other stuff. But we're going to skip right over that. We're going to skip right over that. Um, I'm going to start with Simone. Now, I don't know what the hell I just witnessed <laughs> um, with her and Mr. C. So, like, I was just giving them their props last week, um, you know, regarding them getting back together, uh, you know, hashing out their issues, getting back on track. They're now having sex again. So, no more droughts. No more droughts. Um, because Simone was getting a little bit dry up in there. But, um, you know, they're... they're back under the same roof and everything. But if this is how Simone is going to act on a regular basis or how she normally acts on a regular basis behind closed doors, then I can see why, why Cecil shut her down. Um, it was like, where did all this come from? She was going on and on talking about how he has not yet validated her feelings, you know, regarding his best friend, which happens to be a woman. Um, I just don't understand. Y'all, y'all just figured out, you know, you guys were good again. You're having sex again. You're deciding not to get divorced. He moved back home. He brought all his clothes and now you want to have this conversation? Like, I think that should have been brought up before he even moved back in the house. Um, all that counseling and everything they was going through, that should have been handled then. Um, you know, before he moved back home. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think. But I was like, what the hell? And then... um. <laughs> I don't know. I, I have a feeling he was like, oh my God. Oh my God. I just brought all my clothes back. We then gave up the other house that he was renting. You know, in the meantime, while they were separated, you know, he lived in that other house for like nine months. Um, he then gave the house up, moved back home. And I'm no, he's like, oh my God, I need to pack my stuff and get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> but I mean, for real, like he went to dinner with his bestie, who was a woman like a year ago. And she's still big mad about it. Talking about you still haven't validated my feelings because she was upset 
that they went to, you know, dinner together. But it's his best friend. I'm like, y'all been married all these years. And see, it's so hard with relationships. It's so hard because it's like, I don't think CISO and the bestie is like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> but some women, you know, they de they automatically, no best friends, no girls can be your best friends, even if they were best friends before they met. Oh, you got to get rid of her. And some guys are like that too. Oh, you can't have a bestie who's a guy. You know, you got to get rid of him. You know, where does trust come to play? Where does trust come into play? But anywho, anywho, I was like, my God, Simone, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and he was looking like, are you freaking serious? Like, he was looking bewildered, like... I didn't sign up for this. We're supposed to be out on a nice romantic dinner. I didn't sign up for this. He was looking like lost and confused. And did you see her face? She was looking. All I saw was teeth. All I saw was teeth. I mean, her facial expression, everything. I, all I saw was teeth. It was like she was growling at him. Like she wanted to haul off and bite him in his face. <laughs> I'm like, Simone, Simone, please, please come down, child, calm down. But anywho, anywho, too bad he gave us that other house already. Because I know if he still had that other house, he would have took off out that restaurant and went back home to his other house. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> we're going to see how that works out next episode. But um, Mariah, okay, y'all remember when Mariah's daughter, um, I want to say, ooh, this was early on in the season, Maybe like four episodes ago, maybe four or five episodes. But anyway, um, her daughter was complaining, you know, a little while back about her mom still dressing her in little girl clothes, you know, when she's like about to enter high school. But in Mariah's defense, her daughter is so little, like much smaller than most kids, you know, who are about to enter high school. So I can definitely see why, um, why Mariah still feels like, you know, her daughter would want to wear the same type of clothes that she's been accustomed to wearing because she's, granted, she's growing up. She's now about to be in the ninth grade, but she's not actually growing up. You know, as far as in size, she is so little. I mean, if Mariah would have told us how old that child was, I would have thought she was probably like 10 like, honestly, 10 years old, but she's more like 14, you know, about to start high school. And so, you know, and also somebody else, you know, who probably wouldn't know, you know, anything about the child or her age or, you know, anything like that. If they were to start, see her dressing in teenage clothes, like the little mini skirt and stuff that the designer was pulling out, they would have been like, uh, why is her mama allowing her to leave the house dressed like that? Because she still looks like a little child. But, you know, I was glad to see, you know, her daughter all excited and everything. You know, when she saw Mariah had hired a personal designer, her face like lit up. She was going through all the clothes and everything. So, you know, maybe he can help uh, her daughter try to find the proper and age appropriate clothing styles for her. But most of the stuff that she was sure, I don't know. Y'all let me... <laughs> Give me some feedback, please. <laughs> because some of them outfits uh, just seem like something a teenager wouldn't even wear. Some of them outfits look like business attire like or church attire. I was like, okay, maybe, you know, maybe they'll find something else, you know, age appropriate for her. But anywho, um, what do y'all think about Heavenly um, inviting Mariah to the church? For them to try to resolve, you know, some of their issues. Um, Mariah, in the last episode, she had told her um, counselor, her therapist, Dr. K, that she felt it was time for her and Mariah to sit down and have a talk. Um, so she figured, you know what? I'm going to invite her to the church because they'll be in the Lord's house which should be a pretty safe environment, you know, because there, there, there can't not be no way, no possible way that they would fight, argue, you know, call each other names, <laughs> talk about each other husbands, talk about each other mamas, no, your mamas, uh, you know, none of that in church, in church. 
But when Heavenly told Mariah that she reminded her or she reminds her of her sister, because she has said her sister, well, this is what she told her therapist. My, my sister always lied on me. So Mariah kind of reminds me of my sister. But when she told Mariah this, Mariah was giving her the side eye like, okay, um, and tell me again how this collates, you know, with me and your sister. Tell me again. <laughs> because just like me, uh, Mariah didn't see it either. She's like, I don't understand. You need to break it down. Break it all the way down for me. <laughs> because um, this season, at least this season, I didn't see anywhere where Mariah lied on her. I did see that she lied on her husband, saying he was cheating, but she did apologize for that. And I agree with Mariah, like, you know, in that, you know, in that. Um, I think Heavenly had her mind set up, you know, from the very beginning, from the very get-go, that her and Mariah might not get along. Now, um, remember, Heavenly invited her to the church. So why was it Heavenly who was cursing all up and through that church and not curse words like, okay, you know, sometimes you might curse in church. Hi, Designs by V. How you doing? <laughs> Welcome to the chat tonight. We just discussing um, Married, to Le Married to Medicine, the last episodes. I am doing wonderful and you. <laughs> I am doing wonderful, wonderful. Um. I was just saying, you know, how Heavenly was cursing up in church, and I'm not going to lie, I have accidentally cursed in church before, you know, like, damn, or shit, you know, nothing big, nothing major, you be like, oh my God, oh my God, you know, Lord forgive me, Mariah, <laughs> Mariah, after she told her, you know what, you always had it said that you were not going to uh, like me or, you know, you were going to have an issue with me and everything. Heavenly was like, no, I didn't. All I said was, who the fuck is that bitch in church? And she was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God, please forgive me. Lord, please forgive me. Lord, please. I'm sorry. Forgive me. You know my heart. <laughs> I'm like, how you gonna call her to the church and meet with her in the church? You don't care for Heavenly? You know, a lot of people do not like Heavenly. Heavenly, I, I, I'm like, she cracks me up. That's all I can say. She cracks me up. Um, she, I, I don't know. Heavenly is a character. She is a character. She was cussing her butt off in church and Mariah sitting there like, Heavenly, we in church, we in the Lord's house, we met here so that we wouldn't cuss and go off on each other and talk about each other's mamas. Remember? <laughs> I was hollering. I know, no, she didn't call her bitch in church. Mm -mm -mm. Lord forgive her. And then they had the sound effects in the back, like the lightning and the thunder, you know, <laughs> striking the church. <laughs> like slide on over. Get heavenly 50 feet, y'all. Give her 50 feet because God ain't pleased. <laughs> But yeah, a lot of people don't like Heavenly. Um, she's just, like I said before, it seemed like she's been in therapy forever. Like, forever. Who needs that much therapy? I wonder how much he charged by the hour. What you think? Like 50? No, I got to be more than 50. Like 100? 125? I mean, I know Heavenly makes money. You know, she's a dentist. She has her own, you know, business. And then the, the married to medicine money. And But still, but still, she making that doctor rich. I know he just be like, come on, keep on coming. I'm going to fix you yet. <laughs> I'm going to fix you yet. <laughs> but in the end, you know, they did decide to come to, you know, call a truce and a promise to honestly try to get to know each other all over again. So we'll see how that goes. But as far as the wine tasting trip to the vineyards, um, did y'all think it was like, okay, Simone asked Toya, like Toya, are you sure you want to head the next ladies trip? After all the craziness that they had in Antigua. Now Toya thought before that trip, oh, it's a piece of cake. Ain't nothing, you know, that I can't handle, you know, planning a trip, putting it all together, you know, heading over the trip. Um, they didn't kill each other. 
they didn't kill each other, but y'all saw how that ended up. So I don't know. She was like, Toya, are you sure? She was like, yeah, you know, but you know what? I have to agree um, that since she gave Heavenly a second chance, you know, to redo the couple's therapy, then I suppose, you know, she should have another chance also, you know, so she can do the ladies trip. <laughs> But it didn't even take that long for them to get into it. I was like, oh my God, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Um, The couple's like, okay, back over in Antigua, y'all remember how Toya had got scared. How to Oh, I definitely will. You know what? I think I am uh, subscribed to your channel. I think I am. Subscribe to you. Because I be saying, you be on Miss Gina's channel, right? Miss Gina, Queen of Talk. Am I right? If you are, I think I, I think I subscribe to your channel. If I didn't, I will. Because I could have sworn I did. Like when we were doing the, um, what were we doing? The, uh, when we was having the support thing. Matter of fact, let me see. Hold on one second. I'm going to check real quick. Because I think I am. I think I am. I think I am. Let me see. I'm looking on my other computer over here. Yep, I sure am. I sure am. Let me, um, yep. I got you, girl. I got you, girl. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you. We all need to support each other, like, for real, for real. For real, for real. But, um, yeah, I did meet you over on Miss Gina's page. I think it was her page. I'm pretty sure. That's why I meet most of the people that I subscribe to on Miss Gina's page. <laughs> but, the um, Simone, <clears throat> it was like when they, okay, after they got on that bus and got ready for their trip, um, you welcome, love. You welcome, they haven't traveled, like, outside the city. You know, it was, like, a couple of miles outside the city before it started to go down. Like, Simone was like, you know, on this trip, I think we all should let each other know, honestly, <laughs> honestly speaking, tell each other what it is that we believe, that we believe that we need to work on. It's all about we. It's all about them, self, self-reflecting. We all need to do that sometime. Um, now, Simone, she definitely wasn't lying about hers. That dog on Simone, I swear. She does need to stop being so daggone loud when she has a disagreement with somebody. I mean, she be screaming at the top of her lungs. I have, I, if that girl could sing, if she could carry a note. I'm telling you, she probably do really well singing because her lungs are so strong. I can't even yell at I try to get loud with my kids and I lose my voice. That lady be screaming at the top of her lungs and cursing them out something horrible. Just like she just did Cecil. <laughs> the same way she just did him. And she be going off, not letting you get a word in. So she did not lie. Yes, that is something that she definitely needs to work on. Um... Quad. Mm, I guess Quad was right too. She does. She is stubborn, but I think it's more stubborn with um this just this whole situation since her and Greg, you know, they're having you know going through this divorce and separation. I think you know when she was saying stubborn, like not um allowing her friends, her girlfriends, to support her. You know, I think that's what she meant. So I guess I can agree with that too. Um, she can work on that. Uh, girl, when they got to Contessa, mm -mm -mm. these ladies, you know what? Designs by V, I'll be going back and forth. I'm not even going to lie. One week I might like Contessa. The next week I'm like, girl, stand up for yourself. One week I might like Toya. Then I'm like, girl, you a bully. Then I'm <laughs> But Quad, one week I might like Quad because Quad honestly has a big heart. Like, she honestly got a big heart. But then the next week, I'll be like, oh, God, Quad, sit your bougie ass down somewhere. <laughs> she does, yeah, yeah. And that's what a lot of people think. She be, she be acting like, I think sometimes she act like, uh, 
she act like she was always up here. You know what I mean? Like she she been sometimes it seems like she kind of forgets where she comes from, the way she talks to people sometimes, you know, the way she acts sometimes. But I really do think, you know, she does have a big heart and she she really cares for people. When she when she really cares and loves someone, she loves hard. I do think that. <laughs> but yeah, she could work on her stubbornness. But Contessa, what did you think about what she said? Like uh, okay, I'm gonna break it down to what I understood it as. Um, when they said, "Okay, Contessa, what do you think you need to work on?" She was like talking about what she needs to do to improve herself is assess other people to meet them where they are, so that she can make sure they are ready to receive whatever it is that she wants them to receive. Did I get that right? I was like, when do we talk about what you need to be doing? She was like, I need to assess other people. Before I go off, I need to make sure they ready to hear what I need to hear. So they be able to receive what it is I want them to receive. I was like, hold up, sus. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and you know what? She might not have. She might not have. But on the flip side, do you think he really loved her? Because, I mean, a lot of people say Kwa probably married him for money, for a social class, you know, to be in a certain social class. But ever since I can remember, I have never actually... I don't know, saw a lot of love from him for her either. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he married her because he thought she was cute. She was pretty, you know, with her chocolate self. And maybe she married him because, you know, again, he's making some Benjis, a lot of money. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think they were just total opposites, and I think maybe they were trying to get something out of each other, and it just it just didn't work. It just didn't work. And then in the beginning, how he was like, you know what, I wanted to have kids and everything. Um, ever since the beginning, she's told him she didn't want kids. Like, I don't know. I think that was a mistake, too. Marrying somebody who you know has no interest in having children. Oh, but she can have 5, 10, 11, 50 dogs, though. <laughs> she can take care of 50 dogs, though. I mean, dressing them and doing their hair and putting little boat rats in their hair and brushing their teeth and brushing their hair and clipping their toenails. Shit, she might as well open up a dab gone. <laughs> she might as well be a groomer. <laughs> she might as well be a groomer because if you can take care of all them dogs the way she be taking care of them dogs like they little kids why not have a kid why not have one kid one little kid is not as much trouble as all them dogs that's for sure Shoot, you can put a kid on a pamper give it a bottle them dogs you have to click pick up they poop you gotta walk them down the street you gotta i mean i don't know i don't know Maybe she'll want to have kids one day. Maybe it has to be like the right person. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, she wants to be more... Po yep, is that social? Yep, 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 I agree. I agree. That's what I really think it was. <laughs> but um, as far as like when uh, Contessa was saying what she thinks um, about when they said, what do you need to improve, whatever. After she gave her a little spill, I was like, okay, they about to get her, they about to get her. Simone mentioned it first. Then Toya brought it on home. She was like, okay, now, back to what I was saying about Antigua. Um, Toya, when she had, a remember when she kind of like, okay, when she saw that crab run across the sidewalk, I know I probably would have been tripping too. I, I'm going to just say, the little thing scurrying across the sidewalk, you don't know what it is. I mean, you just see something just scurrying across the sidewalk with all these legs. And she jumped back. And she fell into Contessa. Um, Toya is like, can you just honestly admit that you were wrong? 
We all saw that episode on Antiqua. We all saw all the times they replayed that scene. But Contessa is still trying to say that Toya hit her on purpose. What y'all think? Because I don't, I still don't think that Toya hit her on purpose. I was like, come on, Tessa. It was an accident. But she set on trying to make others believe that Toya stooped that low and hit her in her breast on purpose after she had just had reconstructive breast surgery. Um, and then we also talking about somebody who was a very, very close friend to her. Contessa and Toya used to be tight, like really close friends. Um, I, I can't imagine anybody who had a close friend that would purposely hit them in an area on purpose where they just had surgery. And not just reconstructive surgery, but she also, um, before that, she had her breasts removed because she has breast cancer, um, you know, throughout certain family members in her family. And she wanted to remove her breasts so she could try to prevent that. And then after that surgery, then she had reconstructive surgery to remake breast. So I can't imagine Toya would hit her and her breast on purpose. I just can't. I can't accept it. I just cannot accept it. But y'all let me know what y'all think. <laughs> you said, remember when the show just started? He, her, and Greg just got married. She was married great to be on the show see i don't girl i'm gonna honestly say i can't even remember back that far i cannot remember at all but i can't believe that she probably didn't marry him to get on the show i can't believe that i definitely can <laughs> i definitely can believe that so again i don't i don't understand why he even went for it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they should have dated for a little longer. Maybe he should have dated her for a little longer. So maybe they should have had some kind of will. Okay, you don't want to have a baby right now. Okay, by this year, this time, I want some sharing. I want some sharing. Get off that. Get off that birth control. I'm not strapping up anymore. You know, I don't know. But people do do that. They do it all the time. Marry somebody who's in a, you know, higher class, much higher class than they are. <laughs> so they can climb that social ladder as well. But when Contessa said, y'all, when Contessa told Toya, okay, it was Contessa's husband who had came to their um, villa and told everybody that Contessa said Toya hit her on purpose. Now, I can't remember if it was her husband who said she hit her on purpose or if he said Contessa said she hit her on purpose. But regardless, regardless, um, Toy was like, that didn't happen. And Contessa was like, so you trying to say um, my husband is a liar? Like, I don't think she really wanted Toya to get up out that seat. Not really. <laughs> Oh, I saw that because I remember the mug shots. Matter of fact, I don't know if you uh if you follow uh AT Elliot, but she had posted the mug shots and she had got mad because she posted the mug shots and she was like, Well, they're public information. How could you get mad because somebody posted your mug? Okay. <laughs> and she had a ooh, her mug shot was ooh wee. Mm-mm-mm. Her mugshot was a hot mess. Shoot, whenever you know you're about to do something, you're about to go to jail for it, get arrested for it, try to look cute. <laughs> try to look cute, because she was looking a hot mess. But they was fighting, like, both of them. They was, like, got, got into it, and they still got married. But, mm -mm. girl, the new episode, um, Contessa was calling Toya to the flow. She was like, you called my husband a liar. You must be trying to get choked out. Toya must have got out that sea so fast. What you want to do, bitch? What you want to do? Space and opportunity. Space and opportunity. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, Contessa. You you still healing. You still co co recuperating, recovering from your surgeries. <laughs> Sat your butt down somewhere. But of course, the ladies didn't, the ladies didn't let them get into it. 
<laughs> but I'm like, Toya, Contessa, I don't think you want to see Toya. I, I, I don't know. Toya looks like she probably will tear you a new, you know what. <laughs> and another thing, I don't think Toya needs to be in charge of any more trips. She needs to take a break. No trips. Let somebody else handle that because to she be setting no trips and then be going off on everybody and trying to fight people. No, no, no. <laughs> it's always a fight about to break out on Toya's watch, so I'm going to need her to take a break. But uh, while these chicks were fighting and arguing over some mediocre stuff, Mariah and her husband, Aiden, they were dealing with some real-life issues, too. You said, did you hear her quad slip with Mar Yeah, well, they, Yeah, they were talking about that. Yes, I think I heard that about, um, oh God, like maybe three weeks ago, three weeks ago. And they were saying, you know, that's the real reason why they kind of fell out. But I don't know, because they really didn't specify that on the show. I, I've seen it in social media, though. I saw it on the blogs and all that kind of stuff. But, mm. Mm -hmm. Quad. Mm. Because her and Mariah used to be really good friends. But I heard that once she had slept with her sister, you know, uh, or her sister-in-law, I should say, um, it was like, okay, I I'm not cool with this. You know, this is my family. You know, you... It, it was like, okay, Mar I, I can understand Mariah, how she felt like she was in the middle. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm Slap with her husband in law, husband in law. Mm, girl, I don't know. If she did, it's wrong. If she did, it's wrong. It's wrong as it's wrong as heck. But um, I don't know. Quad, I think she just needs to gather herself and figure out what the hell she wants and figure out what she wants to do with herself besides play with them dogs all day. I mean, she's on Sister Circle now. She's doing good. Maybe, you know, maybe she'll get her stuff together. Maybe she'll get her stuff together and settle down and find herself a nice husband and have some kids, have some sharing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and sleep with her own husband. <laughs> but uh, Mariah's husband, she was like, uh, Mariah had left her husband at home. Um, you didn't see the last episode, so you didn't see how uh, Aiden had got sick. And that's, that could be the reason why they got into a fight. It could be designs by B. I mean, I don't know as, if that was actually around that time. Like, if that happened, like, a few weeks before the wedding. But that could be. It would, if it happened around that time, that would make sense. But then he still married her. So, mm, I just think they shouldn't have never got married in the first place. <laughs> I don't think they should. But, um, yeah, she still got them little dogs. I've seen them, like, a few episodes ago. <laughs> she still got them little dogs, and they got more outfits than her. <laughs> but, um, Aiden, you know, he was sick, and uh, Mariah had left because she just figured, you know, he figured that there was just headaches and everything. But um, she could have stayed at home, you know, to help take care of her man, even though she thought it was just headaches. But I'm sure the reason why Mariah probably decided to come on the trip, even though Aiden was, you know, suffering from some headaches at home, because she probably was trying to put her best foot forward and show that she really, really wants to start a brand new chapter with these ladies. But when she got the phone call and her husband told her he was going to the ER, she was like, you know what, call me, let me know what's going on. And when he called back and said he was been diagnosed with menin viral meningitis, I was like, oh my God. I mean, I don't know that much about viral meningitis, but I know it's serious and I know you can, you know, die from it. But these ladies up there, they arguing. They still brought it. They brought it on the bus. They brought it to the vineyards. They brought it to the second wine, winery. I'm like, just get over it. There's other people dealing with other serious issues, like real-life issues, 
And so when they found out what was going on, I'm glad they, you know, immediately put their issues to the side. They started hugging on her. They started loving on her. They started praying on her. Like, this is a very serious issue. I mean, you can, it can start off with headaches. It can start off with a cough. It can start off with a cold. Then the next thing you know, you're in a coma or you did. So, you know, that's something that they have to take very seriously. So after that, you know, all the ladies was like, okay, they all mutually agreed. Let's go back to the city. We need to hit the, <laughs> hit the interstate. We out of here. So I hope, you know, I hope Aiden, I hope he's going to be okay. Because that is serious. When they said meningitis, I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. And that's crazy because um some people when they get headaches, they're just thinking, Oh, I got a headache, I got a migraine, I can just pop some pills. But they always tell you if your headaches linger more than, you know, a couple of days, or if they get really, really serious to where you can't drive, you can't work, you can't, you know, function, you should get that checked out. And I say this also to say I have a cousin who lives in um Chicago. I might have to uh go there soon. Well, I'm hoping if I go there soon, it is because he's been recovered and not because he's passed because he's been in a coma since September. And I think I had told Miss Gina this the other day because mostly everybody knows she's in Illinois. <clears throat> and I told her if I had to go up there, I'm going to pay her a visit. But yeah, he was having headaches for a long time. And his mom kept telling him to go to the uh, hospital, you know, go get it checked out. He didn't want to go to the doctor, you know, just kept trying to treat it himself. And the headaches started getting worse and worse and worse. And then he fell into a coma. So, please pray with me and keep my family member in your prayers. <laughs> because I don't know what's going to happen. I talked to his mom, um, you know... The other day was the last weekend. Yeah, I talked to his mom last weekend, and they keep us updated on Facebook and everything. But when you get headaches like that, sometimes you just have to go, stop what you're doing, and go get it checked out. So hopefully Aiden will be okay as well. But um, <clears throat> you said, oh, that's you know what? That's what his mom said. And no, Mary to Medicine came on, Um, it came, what's today? Today's... Sunday. Yep, it came on last night. Because remember, it used to come on Sundays, but as soon as like uh, Housewives started coming on, then it started coming on Saturdays. Because it came on, I think last Saturday too, and the Saturday before last. But I don't know why they changed the schedule. I don't know why. I have no idea. I know, um, what else used to be on Sundays? Uh, Married to Medicine, um, Housewives, it was another show, I can't think of it off the top of my head, that was also coming on on Sundays, and so then they took Mary to Medicine and put it on Saturday, but yeah, his mom had told me that, we was on the phone talking, um, and she was like, men, well actually, she didn't just say men, she said men at first, she was like, men do not like going to the doctor, but then she also said, people in our generation, <laughs> She said, y'all don't like to go to the doctor. Something wrong with y'all. Y'all just try to ignore it and, you know, just try to go on with your life like it's going to go away. And she's telling the truth. I mean, men do not like going to the doctor, but I know a lot of people who they scared to go to the doctor. When something's paining them or something, they scared. They just start popping pills and praying and, you know, hoping to pray it away. But sometimes you just have to suck it up. And hey, they always say, when you feel like something is wrong with your body, you notice them changes and something wrong with your body. It's better to get it looked at immediately because especially if it's something serious like cancer or something like that, the earlier, the better. So just keep that in mind, everybody. The earlier, the better. But yeah, watch it. It was, it was a good show. It was a really good show. But I didn't watch... Um, uh, Atlanta Housewives yet, because that came on at 7 o'clock here, um, so I have to watch that next, <laughs> but then, um, I don't know if you follow Shish Trish, but I think she's going live at 10, so in about another hour, so I'm gonna try to watch, uh, Married to Medicine before she goes live, 
So and I told her I would do my live before she goes live so I can try to watch her live. But anyway, you know how it is. Support, 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 support. <laughs> but anyway, I'm glad you guys tuned in. Oh, I'm in Nebraska. I'm in Omaha, <laughs> where it's really, 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 really cold right about now. Like, really cold. I think it was 12 degrees when I got up this morning. It's really cold here. <laughs> I got my heat on, and I got a space heater near me, because I'm, like, so cold. But, yep, I'm going to get off this live and try to watch Mary, I mean, not Mary's Medicine, but Housewives of ATL before um, I catch my other, um, one of my other favorite YouTubers, catch them going live. But um, I will talk to you guys later, and I'll probably come live tomorrow with the uh, um, Housewives review, hopefully, tomorrow, around like 8-ish. So that's what I'm planning, around like 8, 8.30-ish. But I will, as usual, post the link so you guys will get the notification, you know, what time I go live. Oh, you live in Tennessee? I have a lot of family in Tennessee. A lot of family. <laughs> the majority of my family is in Tennessee. Um, my grandma had 16 kids and only a few few of them way back when. Um, only a few of them moved north. Only a few kids left, you know, Tennessee. Like maybe three or four. I know it was my grandma and her sister and their other sister moved to Illinois. And I think one of our other, one of their other sisters moved to California. So I, it was besides those four, like the others, they all stayed down south. So just imagine out of 16 kids, only four moved away from down south. I have a lot of family down there. So yeah, we were just down there, matter of fact, for a family reunion, um, like three years ago. Yep, three years ago, we were down there for a family reunion. So, yeah, it was nice. But, anywho, if I ever get down to Tennessee again, which I'm trying to within the next year, I will definitely hit you up because I love going down south. It's beautiful down there, too. Very beautiful. But, you guys, I'm going to get off this live. And in the meantime and in between time, as usual, Primetime Squad, stay safe, be blessed, and I'm out.